What's going on guys, JB Tech here back with another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to actually jailbreak your iPhone 4 running 4.3.5 and we'll be using Red Snow so um, just be aware this is a tether jailbreak meaning if you ever have to reboot your phone or your phone freezes or something you have to restart for some reason then you will have to connect to a computer and basically reboot it through Red Snow and that would be a hassle if you don't have a computer by your side or something so um, just be aware of that they still haven't released a, a tether jailbreak so I'll be waiting for that but today I'm actually going to be jailbreaking my phone because I kind of want to jailbreak it so let's get started <laughs> So before we begin we have to check if we're running 4.3.5 on our iDevice. So after you check that out, you will have to download Red Snow and also 4.3.4 firmware. And this is what we'll be using whenever we run Red Snow. So to begin, go ahead and open up Red Snow. And then you have to click on browse and then you look for your firmware which is this one go ahead and open it up and once it processes go ahead hit next okay and then right here you'll Go ahead and make sure install Cydia is selected. Go ahead and hit next and then make sure your iPhone is turned off like it says right there. And also that it is plugged in. So make sure it's plugged in. Damn, my phone's dirty. Need to clean it up. Also comment on my new camera or well, not on my new camera but the video quality of my camera I got the new D5100 and this is actually the first time I use it on my videos so let me know what y'all think about that so anyways let's keep going so go ahead hit next and then you're gonna hold down the power button for three seconds then you hold down the home button while you're holding down the power button for 10 seconds and then after this you will let go of the power button and keep holding down the home button and so now you can let this go and as you see it's running Ow, shit. and then you'll see this icon or screen now you'll see all this gibberish. And so I'm going to actually skip this real quick. Well, actually, no, I'm not. Um, as you see right here, it says the rest of this process takes place on your device. And it's saying the jailbreaker for this device is currently tethered, which I explained in the beginning. So when this boots back up, it won't work unless you plug it back in and then reboot it through Red Snow. And then after that, Cydia will work and all that stuff. But once this is done, it I don't know why it just doesn't work until you re restart it and reboot it with Red Snow one more time. So just be aware of that as well don't like panic saying that it didn't work you have to reboot it again so just a little FYI alright so now that it boots up I'll show y'all how let me focus this real quick here's Cydia right here as you see it doesn't even, doesn't open up and also your Safari won't open up as well 
see how it closes up. So in order to fix this, we'll have to go back here onto the computer, open up Red Snow again, and then browse, look for your firmware, the 4.3.4, click on next. And then once again, we will have to turn off the phone. And then right here where it says, um, select your options, uncheck install Cydia, and then just click on just boot tethered right now. Click on next. Your phone's turned off, as you see. So now we click on next again and then we're going to do the same process where you hold down the power button home button and then let go of the power button etc so click on next hold down the power button for three seconds then the home button with it for ten seconds and then you'll let go of the power button you see keep holding down the home button and there you go so after this is done you will you'll be unlocked or jailbroken I should say not unlocked and that's it so as soon as this boots up I'll show y'all okay so now it's booted up go ahead and unlock it And now you go over to Cydia and you see how Cydia is actually, let me focus, Cydia, the icon is actually there. So go ahead and open up Cydia and it's working now. So you have Cydia running now and everything should be working. Go ahead and uh, comment like my video if you liked it or if it was helpful for you and also comment on this video as in quality wise because I'm using a, my new camera so let me know what you think and go ahead and subscribe and that's about it guys see you on the next video later guys peace